it's Gwen from Everything Gwenny and today we have a weird and random Wednesday and today that weird and random Wednesday is yarn related and it is an unbagging of yarn that I ordered from a company called Pandia's Jewels it is one of the indie dyers that I really like dealing with the most um, besides Indigo Dragonfly which is Canadian this company is actually US uh, so if you are in the U.S. and you like hand-dyed yarn, I definitely recommend Pandia's Jewels. The owner's name is Julia Wardell, and she is a lovely lady. She runs a Ravelry group as well, where she does knit-alongs and other things like that. She also often works with uh, pattern designers to do patterns to go with her uh, yarn, and she sometimes designs ones herself as well. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. I do want to say that if you are in Canada, like I am though, however, be very careful about how much you order because they do hit you with customs and import uh, on the way in. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and open this carefully because I definitely, definitely do not want to cut any of the yarn because that would be very sad. I'm looking, she usually packs it very carefully so that you don't risk cut getting the yarn, but it's actually pretty close to the top. So I'm just going to be very careful. All right, we've got it mostly open. So let's pull everything out and see what we have here. That is going to be my receipt. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. There's everything that was in the bag. So first thing I get is a little card that says Pandia's Jewels on it, hand dyed yarn by Julia Wardell. And it's got a little pin on the corner that has a little sheep on it. It's very cute. So if you can see. This is my Outlander Season 4 kit. I believe... I got the full kit. I think it comes with a bag, a notebook, some stitch markers, yarn, and I think a pattern as well. So let me just go ahead and open that. I am a huge fan of Outlander. I actually just finished watching, I think it was season three on Netflix. Just going to take everything out here. All right. Put the bag off to the side. And I usually want, I order a lot of her special order kits and then I place orders for some of her regular yarn at the same time. I believe this is probably my coupon code for the pattern. So let me just open this off screen for a second. Nothing is lost, Sassanoc only changed wrap and it's a code so this is the code for this specific pattern which is going to be called only changed wrap nothing is lost sassanac 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 i can never say it sassanac but look at the cute little seal that they use the tape the cute little envelope very cute really like that these are my stitch markers So I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little pine cone, a little F for Fraser, a little flower, a little feather, and like a little farm token. So those are really cute. Oh, those are really cute. And this is the yarn, and it is called Nothing Is Lost. It is 100% superwash merino, six ply heavy lace weight yarn. So almost a fingering, but not quite. 
And there is, let's see, does it say how much there is? Do, 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 do. That's how much. That is the 822 yards and 150 grams. That is a nice, and look at all the blues and greens, some browns, some purples. This is a lovely color. I can't wait to see the shawl that goes with this. And here is my journal, Nothing is Lost, Sassanac, Only Change, Jamie Frazier, Drums of Autumn. I think that's actually, is that the book I'm on? I can't even remember which book I'm on. And it's just a ruled or lined page journal, which I love journals. For those of you who have been watching for any length of time know I love journals. So I'm going to add that to my stash. And here is my bag. Look at that. Look at, the, oh wow, and it's really heavy material. It's super heavy. The straps are super heavy. It's like a really thick canvas, but not, not like the harsh canvas. It's like soft and smooth. And it matches the print on the journal. Isn't that cool? Wow, I really like that. I'm just going to tuck everything inside here so I can take it to my office. Oh, and it has a Velcro. No, is that Velcro? No, it's just very hard canvas here on the strap. I thought it was, it felt a little bit like it might be Velcro to close it there for a second. I love bags that close because with my dogs and my cats and my dog hair, anything that closes is, is, is good for me. Okay, so on top of that, I ordered these four colors to add to my stash of her yarn. She does a lot of like geeky themed yarn as well. So this one is Apples Rubbish. I hate apples. And if you know that that is from Doctor Who, I believe it was the... 10th Doctor or 11th Doctor, I don't remember, but it was Matt Smith, so wh whichever one he was, that was the one. Apples, I hate apples, rubbish. This is the Elite Guard, I believe, which is a Star Wars colorway from the new Star Wars movies. Also very lovely reds. This one is Always Wear Camo on Ender, which is also, I believe, a Star Wars colorway, obviously from the name. And it's mixtures of like peaches, greens, some browns, some beiges. Very nice neutral colors. And this last one I just got, I think is, yep, it's definitely a Star Wars colorway. It is called Vader. And it's just colors of blacks, some gray, some very dark browns, a little bit of red in there. Very nice colors, very nice colors. And so that's all now snug away in my bag. <laughs> I'm gonna put that away in my knitting room. So that's it for Weird and Random Wednesday. Again, it was my yarn order from uh, Pandia's Jewels in the United States. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please feel free to subscribe for more videos. Look for me on Facebook and Instagram under everything Gwenny. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.